joining me now is the CEO of the Doha Film Institute, Fatma El Ramayihi. Fatma, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, we know that there's a collaboration happening between the Doha Film Institute and the Sarajevo Film Festival. Tell us more about this partnership. Uh, this partnership is a bridge between the Arab cinema and the European cinema. It's been great to work with the Sarajevo Film Festival. For the fifth year now, we have this partnership. Uh, we benefit a lot from this partnership. There's a lot of uh, local and Arab films that come uh, and participate, for example, in CineLink or the industry uh, events or even shown in the festival uh, uh, during uh, uh, the days of the festival. So it's been really rewarding to see how uh, both these industries can work together and we can benefit the, the, the Bosnian industries and they can benefit from the Arab yeah. industry too. So, uh, how was the Doha Film Fest, the Doha Film Institute, sorry, uh, formed, and how has it evolved over the years? Well, it started with a festival, but then when the festival became so successful and people, we really found that people uh, liked having something like this in Doha, where they can tell their stories. The institute was established in 2010 uh, under the patronage of uh, Her Highness Sheikh Al Mayasa bin Hamad Al Thani, and uh, she's now the chairperson and founder of the institute, and it's a non-profit. Uh, a non-government organization and its main uh, uh, purpose is to help people and support people make films and tell their stories locally in Qatar in the Arab world and internationally and we do it uh, through many many programs during the year well what activities do you guys host as the Doha Film Institute well you know uh, the film industry is very new in Qatar and uh, there are no uh, film sp uh, special schools or anything so we've and the Institute had to create an ecosystem where we are a one-stop shop for any filmmaker or, or a film lover who wants to find something for themselves. So we have training programs, development programs, funding programs, production programs, and we, ha we show uh, films throughout the years in different cinemas. And we have two big events. One uh, is a festival for youth called Ajial Youth Film Festival. And one is an industry event for more uh, professional filmmakers and the industry called so there's uh, a lot that the Institute is doing and we try to create each time something that is uh, uh, good for the time being that we have. So you said that you guys do funding. Um, what is the criteria for a person that wants to be funded and what is the financial extension that you guys go out to? We have a different platform for funding. Uh, I think the one is more uh, uh, known around the world in the industry is our grants program. And this grants program has been now effective for six years. We've granted more than 350 films uh, from 57 countries around the world with a, an average of a percentage of 80% films from the region, from the Arab region. And this program is supports first and second time filmmakers in development and uh, production and in post-production. And the prize, uh, you know, it, it varies from $5,000 to $100,000 depending on the type of the film, short, feature, documentary or fiction. Uh, so it's a huge uh, 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 space for people to come and try to get support, especially for young talents. Uh, the other types of funding, we have a local fund called the Qatari Film Fund. And this, we are focused mostly on the local industry. We support eight uh, um, uh, shorts a year and four features in development. But we also, for the shorts, it's kind of not just funding, but a training program. So we take them from beginning till actually making the film, till after that distributing the film. And we try to help them each step of the way to make this film. And now we've supported through this program in two years around 17 shorts. Two of them uh, were showcased in the last, last Agile Youth Film Festival uh, at the end of last year. And a lot of them will be shown also this year. The other, uh, the last type of funding we have is the co-finance. And uh, examples for that, uh, Khalid Jubran, the Prophet uh, that we did with Selma Hayek, or the Salesman with Azhar Farhadi, or uh, the Reluctant Fundamentalist with Mira Nair. And also this year, we have two films uh, co-funded by the Institute Grains for uh, uh, the amazing director Samah, and uh, uh, Birds Like Us, the Bosnian animation film. Well, um, are there any international um, events that you guys will be co collaborating with? Well, we, we do, other than uh, Sarajevo, we, we have another uh, cultural partner uh, in Italy called Giofoni Film Festival. And it is very similar to our festival for youth where the jurors are young men and women. 
uh, and they decide uh, the best films in the in the festival. So we work very closely with them, and we benefit from their experience. This year, they've celebrated their 47th edition, and they're the biggest uh, children film festival in the world. So we're very happy to have that. We collaborate with many organizations around the world, uh, like Torino Labs, uh, for example, for our workshops and our script writing labs. Uh, we we work uh, our films. Uh, I go to a lot of the festivals, so in each festival you will see films that are supported by the Doha Film Institute. I know that Venice and, and Locarno and, and Toronto will have a lot of films. As, uh, Cannes, for example, had seven films uh, yeah. this year and also last year. So we, we have presence in a lot of film festivals, but I think Sarajevo for us is, uh, is very special because uh, we have this cultural partnership and we grew up with them. Well, that's great to hear. It was a pleasure having you on Showcase today. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here.